Hi everyone, it's Sue Plum here to share a scrapbook process video with you. Today's layout that I am sharing was created for the Coco Vanilla Studio design team and I'm going to be working with the new Sunkissed collection. Now the photo that I'm going to be documenting today is a photo of my sister and I that was taken late last year when we snuck away for a bit of a scrappy weekend. It was sort of a last minute decision, we just ended up finding a little unit not far from me up on the Sunshine Coast. We threw snacks in the car, we threw drinks in the car, we threw our scrap stuff in the car and we went off for a few days of scrapping with a water view. It was very quiet and peaceful and it was beautiful. Anyway, getting back to my page. So as I mentioned, I am working with the Sunkissed collection today and the paper I have chosen for my background is actually the cloud print, which is on the Just Chillin' paper. Now, I've actually surprised myself because on the reverse of the Just Chillin' paper is a wood grain. And if you've been following my channel for a little while, you'll know just how much I love wood grain papers. But I've actually surprised myself because I have used the cloud side of this paper multiple times and I just love it. I thought I would be naturally turning to the wood grain side but I haven't I'm using the cloud print so I wanted to use that for my background but I wanted to tone down the print in the center where the focal area of my page was going to be so I used a couple of acrylic paints I used a white and I also used the Naples yellow and they are the Montmartre paints and I just used my brayer just to lightly sort of roll some paint across the page as I said in that focal area where I knew I was going to layer all my papers up just to pull that cloud print back a, back a bit. I did still want it to be visible which is why I chose the brayer and just used a really light touch. Okay so once I had the paint down on the background I was looking for some papers to form some layers under my photo and I actually pulled that yellow chevron print paper and the blue animal print paper are both from the A5 paper stack. Uh, you won't find either of these prints in the 12 by 12 collection kit because these two prints were actually exclusive to the A5 paper stack. And behind my photo there, I've actually just used a bit of that um, rainbow stripe paper. I've got the warm tones there just to sort of tie in with the warm tones of the painted wall that was behind us. So I grabbed my papers, I tore them, I cut them, I layered them up. I was looking for those blues and yellows because that says beach to me. And once I had them in an arrangement that I was happy with, I actually stapled the stack together. Now, the other thing I did add into the stack was a paper doily, and you're going to watch me fiddle with paper doilies here, um, if I haven't done it already. I couldn't decide whether I was going to use a yellow doily or a blue doily, or whether I was going to use a really small doily or a medium-sized doily, and I swapped it out, and I fiddled around, and I just came back to the yellow. I just love the yellow. It just gives it this nice, happy pop. It makes me think of sunshine, so... Yeah, I went with the yellow in the end. So you can see that I've got all those layers there together. You can see I've stapled through the layers just to hold them all together. So I can move that stack around as one piece on the page. And then once I'm happy with the placement and I've straightened it up using my T-square, I just stapled it straight onto the page. So it wasn't going to go anywhere. So that's one of my tips if you want to get all of your layers in place really quickly rather than sticking them down one at a time just grab your stapler a long arm stapler and staple straight through onto your background sheet now one of the other things i did use on this page that you can see on my desk there are the pocket cards from this collection now these are great if you're into pocket scrapping or project life or even if you want to use them in planners in cards or whatever but they're also really useful on scrapbook pages um, you can see there that I have chosen a journal card. That's that little one with the sun and the clouds on it, which I actually took away and typed my journaling on with my typewriter. And I actually used another one of the pocket cards and fussy cut that cheers to the weekend title from it. And that became my page title. 
Um, what else did I do? Oh, another thing that you will see is one of my signatures. I've added fray gauze into my paper stack there, just in behind my photo. And I stuck my photo down with my Helma 450 adhesive, which is nice and strong to get through those fibers and make sure that your photo isn't going to go anywhere. So that was all of the main structure of my page in place. And then it was just a matter of going through and embellishing my page. You can see I've added some foam tape onto the back of my title there. And that was just to bring my title up to the same height as my photo because I had actually put cardboard behind my photo to pop it up a bit from the background. Now I'm going to dig into the die cut ephemera pack, which has got lots of really cute little icons and phrases and things in it. So I'm just having a dig through and looking for some things that will coordinate with the papers that I've chosen for my layers. So I did find that cute little banner piece that said feeling fine, which I actually stuck up to the right of the photo there because I like the way that that banner carried through those horizontal lines that I had from the papers um, I also dug through, I pulled out, you can see I've pulled out the clouds. I did put a couple of clouds on my page, which I also popped up with foam tape. I also used um, a sun, which I also popped up with foam tape. So I was just giving a little bit of dimension to some places on my page. In the top left corner of my photo, I grabbed a little tab and a little flag out of the ephemera pack. I actually stapled the two of those together with my tiny attacher before I stuck them down in the corner of my photo there. Um, if you know anything about me, you know I love embellishing directly onto my photo. If there's any sort of space or things that need to be covered up in the background, I love to stick an embellishment over it. Okay, so there I am. I'm sticking on those clouds with the foam tape that I mentioned earlier. Now, you can see on the left-hand side there, I've tucked in the little sun, which is in behind the doily layers, uh, the doily layer, sorry. And that little cluster, I'm actually going to build up with a wood button. Now, I was really, really happy to see the wood buttons come back with this collection. Um, I think they add a really nice textural element to the page. And they already have foam tape on the back of them, which actually raises them up quite a bit from the page. If you don't like how high the wood buttons sit with the foam tape on the back of it, just take it off and stick them onto your page with a bit of liquid adhesive. Okay, so on the right-hand side there, I've actually got that um, rainbow arrow, and that was from the accessory sticker sheet. Again, I put foam tape on the back of that just to help pop it up from the page. I've actually got a few things popped up with foam tape on this one. I was looking for a little bit of dimension. Now, one of the other things you can see I'm putting on the page there are clear stickers. I love, love, love clear stickers. And I've just used those little groups of doodled crosses. And I've placed those near to the clouds and the sun. They look like little kisses. And I just thought, yeah, that's really cute on this page of my sister and I. Um, at the bottom of my journal tag there, you can see that I have used one of the brush stroke clear stickers. Um, I actually used that just to help keep the edge of my journal card down on the page, but it also helped to underline my journaling and just gave my page another pop of colour. On the right hand edge of my journal page, I've used another clear sticker, which is that cute little rainbow. And I've added some little hearts that are also from the clear sticker sheet. There's a couple up the top. There's one on the sun. And there's also one down the bottom there. So you can see I'm sort of working in those cluster of threes again. Um, on the left-hand side there in the cluster, I actually just added in a little puffy sticker, which is a pair of heart-shaped sunglasses. On the right-hand side, I added a little puffy sticker, which is a pineapple. And down next to the title, I actually added another puffy sticker, which is a cute little cocktail. And that was pretty much all the elements I put on my page. I'm finishing off here with a few splatters of Liquitex acrylic ink. No, I didn't cover my photo. And yes, it went on the photo. Do I care? No, I'm not looking for perfection. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I finished off with a few stamp phrases and that was it for this page. Thank you so much for watching today. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to post them in the comments below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. I hope you've enjoyed this video today. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.